welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make uh, this very cute uh, little ship so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the white color yarn and uh, the chunky yarn so in my case I use this the DNC velvet yarn okay so the pink one the pink color so this is what you're gonna need so we're gonna use the white yarn for the legs for the hands and for the for the mouth and the ears and you're gonna use the velvet part for the body and also for the top part of the head over here and also you're gonna need some safety eyes and you'll need a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters for the white yarn and also for the velvet yarn I use crochet hook which is 5.0 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start to the head and for the head we are going to start to the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay and then i'm going to pull to Pull the yarn to close the gap okay and then I'm going to put my marker over here to mark the first row the end of the first row or the beginning of the second row okay so in our second row we are going to increase each and every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets so we are going to do two single crochet in each stitch all the way around so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch Okay, and also do two single crochet also in the next one okay so also in the uh, next one you're going to increase so do two single crochet okay so increase also in the remaining three stitches okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat all the way around until here where your marker is okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch and then repeat that again two single crochet and then increase okay so repeat that all the way around until the end Okay, so after that uh, in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three then increase in the increase in the next stitch okay then you're going to repeat that again so three single crochet so one two three and then increase okay so continue doing that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next six rows which is from row 7 until row 12 we're going to do single crochet in each and every row all the way around for a total of 36 stitches in each row 
So I'll see you when you're done with your 12th row so that we do the 13th row together. Okay, so after you're done with the 12th row, this is how it's supposed to look like. So now uh, in our 13th row, okay, we are going to do four single crochet uh, or single crochet in the next four stitches, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of uh, 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, single crochet two, single crochet three, and then single crochet four and decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through so you have three loops and then pull through all the three loops together okay so that is one decrease and then we're going to repeat that again so four single crochet so one two three four and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around until the end okay so after our row of 13 uh, in our 14th row we're going to do single crochet all the way around and also in the 15th row so in the next two rows which is row 14 and 15 do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 15th row so that we do the 16th row together okay so after that uh in our 16th row we are going to do three single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again so three single crochet so one two three and then decrease okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after our 16th row now we're going to change into the chunk yarn or the banner blanket yarn okay so in my case i just tied a knot over here on the inside part so that's the easier way and then i changed into the five millimeters hook okay so now we're going to start uh working on the upper part of the head and in our next row which is our row 17 and row 18 and 19 we're going to do single crochet all the way around so in the next three rows we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches okay so we are going to do single crochet in the next row in the next stitch and do single crochet single crochet okay so continue doing this so single crochet all the way around in the 17th 18th and 19th row okay so and also because it's hard to see stitches with this yarn make sure you count your stitches so that you have a total of 30 uh, i mean 24 stitches in each row so i'll see when you're done with the 19th row so that we do the 20th row together okay so after we're done with the 19th row this is how it looks like okay so in our 20th row we are going to start decreasing and uh, before we continue make sure you stuff the bottom part of the head because we are almost done with the head and it's gonna be hard as we continue to stuff it okay so in our 20th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease okay 
Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. So two single crochet, one, two, and then decrease. Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our 21st row, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so um, we're going to do single crochet and then decrease. and then we're going to repeat that again so single crochet and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with that uh, you're going to stuff your head fully because our next row is our last row Okay, so just like the way I did mine, so your head is gonna look something like that. Okay, so in our last row, we are going to decrease all the way around in every stitch for a total of six stitches all the way around. Okay, so we're going to decrease. And then also, same case, decrease in the next one. okay so you're going to continue decreasing all the way around until the end okay so before we start with the body i'm gonna show you how to do the finishing of the head so you're going to go into the next stitch and then pull your yarn through like that and then you're going to cut your yarn off okay so and then i'm going to pull it all the way through and then to close the gap here at the top, I'm going to go in the opposite stitch and then pull through my yarn like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go also on this other side and pull my yarn through. Okay, and then I'm going to go anywhere in the head and then pull the yarn all the way through. And then I'm going to cut it off like that okay so as you can see it closes well enough and that's how our head should look like okay so now I'm going to show you how to do the body okay and for the body we are going to start again with the magic ring okay so we're going to do the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay so after that I'm going to pull the yarn to close the gap and then I'm going to place my marker over here Okay, so after that, uh, in our second row, we are going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, so I'm going to do two single crochet in every stitch. So I'll do two single crochet. One, two. Okay, two single crochet in the second stitch. So it's quite hard to see the stitches. So make sure you count to make sure you do in the correct way. So increase. Okay, so continue increasing until here at the end. Okay, so after that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch. Okay, then you're going to repeat that again single crochet increase ok 
okay so repeat that all the way until the end okay so after that uh in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again two single crochet increase all the way around until the end okay so after that uh in our third um in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that to the end so three single crochet increase all the way around until the end okay so after that uh in our sixth row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and single crochet four then increase Okay, so you're going to repeat that again all the way around until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next four rows, which is from row 7 until row 10, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that I'll show you how to do the 11th row. Okay, so after our 10, 10th row, in our 11th row, we're going to start decreasing and uh, we're going to start with four single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three four and then decrease okay and then we're going to repeat that again so four single crochet so one two three four and decrease okay so continue repeating that all the way around until the end okay so after we're done with that uh, in our 12th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 30 stitches so I'll see you when you're done with this row so that we do the next row together. Okay, so after that, uh, in the 13th row, we are going to do three single crochet, then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, and then decrease. okay so then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end okay so after you're done with that uh in our 14th row we are going to do single crochet in the next row or i mean in this row all the way around until the end for a total of 24 stitches so do single crochet all the way around and then we'll start the next row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our 15th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 uh, stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease okay so and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end Okay, so after that, uh, in our 16th row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches. So do single crochet all the way around so that we start the next row together. Okay, so after we're done with that, uh, make sure you stuff your body all the way until the end. 
uh, like uh, as you can see I already did mine okay so now we're going to start with the 17th row and for the 17th row uh, we're going to do single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around six times for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again so single crochet and then decrease okay so repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in our 18th row which is our last row we're going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of six stitches so we're going to decrease okay so just like the way we did with the head and then decrease again okay so you're going to continue decreasing all the way around until the end and then when you're done you're going to cut off your yarn and do the finishing and then after that i'll show you how to make the arms and the legs okay so now we're going to start with the hands and for the hands uh you're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so i already did that so if you watch the rest of the video i know you already know how to do the magic ring by now okay so in our second row we're going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to increase the next stitch so do two single crochet okay and then go in the next stitch also and increase okay so continue increasing all the way around until the end Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next four rows, which is from row three until row six, do single crochet all the way around for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the sixth row so that we do the, we start the seventh row together. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our seventh row, we're going to do four single crochet, then decrease, and repeat two times for a total of 10 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so for single crochet and decrease okay so after that uh, in our eighth row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and do two times for a total of eight stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so after you're done with that make sure you stuff at the bottom first before we continue over here uh, because uh, in the next uh, 14 rows so it, it'll look something like that so in the next 14 rows 14 rows we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so do that until the end and then when you get to the end cut your yarn long enough for sewing like the way i did with mine okay so your arm is gonna look something like this so we stuff only at the bottom so this part we're not going to stuff okay so when you're done with that i'll show you how to make the legs okay so for the legs we're going to start with the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring and then after you're done with that uh, in our second row we are going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so you're going to go in the next stitch and increase
okay so continue increasing also in the next stitch Okay, so increase all the way around until the end okay so after that uh, in our third row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat six times for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that again five more times until the end Okay, so after that, uh, in the next three rows, which is row four until row six, you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done in the sixth row so that we start the seventh row together. Okay, so after you're done in the sixth row, in our seventh row, we're going to start decreasing and uh, we're going to do seven single crochet, then decrease and repeat two times for a total of 16 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven okay and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time until the end okay so after that uh, in our eighth row we're going to do six single crochet then decrease and repeat that two times for a total of 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time until the end okay so after that uh in our ninth row we are going to do five single crochet and decrease two times for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do one two three four five and then decrease okay and then repeat the same pattern again one more time okay so for our tenth row we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat two times for a total of 10 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so after you're done with that uh in our next 16 rows uh you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row until the end so you're going to come up with something that looks like this but before you continue make sure you stuff the bottom part and then when you're done cut your yarn long enough so that you have uh, enough for sewing okay and then when you're done with that i'm going to show you how to make the ears okay so the ears are quite easy so what you do is you start with the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring and then in the second row you're going to increase as usual all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in the second round so after the second round from the third round until the ninth round which is the last round you're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row okay so you're going to do seven rows of single crochet from the second row okay until you're done and then you're going to cut off your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing so that uh, when we attach the parts together we're going to fold the ear like that okay and attach it to the head 
okay so when you're done with that uh, we have we've completed all the parts so now we're going to attach all the parts together okay guys so as you can see I already finished attaching the parts together okay so for the head you attach it here at the very end uh, together with the body and for the arms you attach it uh, here in the last row of the body okay so together so this is how uh, it looks like so when you're attaching make sure the ears and the hands and the legs are in line together okay so for the ears you attach them in the one two three four in the fourth row from the back of the head okay and for the eyes I place them uh, in the one two three between the third and the seventh row of the white part of the head so I attached these uh, googly eyes so as you can see they can move so you just glue them using the fabric glue and also for the legs I attached them in the one two three in the third row from the bottom of the of the body okay so what I would recommend is I would recommend for you to use pins first before you sew them in uh, to make sure they're all in the right places so guys i hope you enjoyed this very simple pattern and uh, if you have any questions you can ask in the comment below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos too so i upload one video every week until next time bye